Starts off right here. Cataclysm versus Sheer. Or not Sheer Zul. Is it Nami? Now, Cataclysm hit me with some wild Seth loops. Like, he's doing the real good shit with Seth now. Now, let's see if he can do it under the gun. But, like, the Seth, I can tell you, just when we practice before the tournament and stuff like that, the Seth keeps getting better and better and better. Like, it's, it's like the evolution's crazy, too. And just over the last few weeks, too, just see it kind of jump by leaps and bounds and everything. Oh, nice air to air. Could convert, though. Seth's kind of hurting, but yes, the Yang anti-air is real all blocky. You had a punish there. We're scheming, though. We're scheming. Good grab avoids the, uh... Orbiter pressure, too. It's Orbiter, right? See, this is where I need a code commentator, because like I said, a move, I think that's what the move is. I should know. I've been playing this game since its inception. With that being said, I could be wrong. I'm having self-doubt, but it's okay. I feel like he says Orbiter, so it can't be called anything but Orbiter. That's crazy. I'm not even fucking British, bro. We're, we're, we're... All right, game number one is Anami. Yeah, the names are backwards. So you guys really aren't amnesia. You hate on British people pretty hard too. Like you go hard in the paint on the on the British. Like you guys are still holding that like three hundred year grudge, dude. It's time to let it go. You won. Land of the free. Get ready. If you want to hate on some British stuff, though, I got some stuff for you to hate on. You can, um, you can, uh, look up, uh, King Charles' hands. Google image search King Charles' hands. There's some, there's some British stuff for you. Enjoy. All right, game number two here. Let's see if Cataclysm gets some stuff going. Is not me. Picked their stops, spots very well. I was looking for the DP extension there. That could have been a DP opportunity, but yeah, is not me playing very patient, just fishing around for. Uh... Mike still can't beat you. Um, I don't know if you can beat the allegations for your connection though, Press. So there's there's that. You're a good player though, Press. You're you're formidable for sure. Cataclysm have a very hard time getting the offense off though. You start mash with Seth. Start getting that Seth mash on the go. Oh, save Blake. Seth barely alive. Hyde never had to get involved in this matchup yet. Okay, yeah, really delayed throw there. And the scoop. All up to Blake. Pop that resonance, baby girl. Pop that resonance. No, we're gonna save for next match? Okay, we'll see how that goes. Alright, is Anami up quick too? I wonder if we got a pulse from Cher Zul. Or FG3. FG3 has been pretty consistently playing as of late, so. It's unusual. Get ready, ready. Can't escape from crossing fate. All right. There we go, finally. Find some meaningful offense. Hit him with your shit, Mike. Hit him with your shit. There we go. See, we got these. Commentator's cursed there a little bit. And Yang just find the jump in on Seth, and he's gonna blow up. Oh, 
Oh, good switch. Brave DP. Man, these DPs are rocking, but they're working. All right, we're scheming. Ooh, the 5C. Yes, we spend and we get the kill. Bing bong. All right, Yang, get the corner combo. Okay, finds the feet. Burst is available. Had to hit, didn't believe. Gotta be careful too up close, because that Unga armor is really good. All right, we got a scoop here. No kill. This a scoop of his own. Gotta force the resins here, but she's gonna be hitting the uh, Bitches Love Sosa in a minute. Once this combo's done, she's powered up. She's burning. Sean Nepal. And residence double chief Keith. Let's go. Five C has. All right, Cataclysm is game to lose here. Super. That's not gonna kill though. I don't think. Oh, maybe she's dead. Maybe she's dead. Nope, nope, nope. Barely alive. Oh, better it on the DP. We were waiting for it though. And Blake's actually gonna die. Yep. In the corner, Yang can do mad damage. Let's careful the armor. Okay, make your offense though. Make your offense. EX projectile. EX projectile. Command grab. Air command grab. No, not the slam dunk. Shit. That might kill him. Pixel Yang gets it done. Heartbreaker for Cataclysm. Heartbreaker. He might cancel the tournament. He's like, I'm out, guys. You know what? You guys handle this shit yourselves. Peace. Uh, yes, Mike. Yes, you would have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. All right. So we got Shearzul versus FG3 for real. Never mind. Shearzul dipped. He said I'm out. We got some matches being called here. All right, Shirzul, where'd you go? He left and didn't come back. You have to auto pass, Mike. You gotta auto pass. All right, so it's gonna be Shirzul versus FG3 for real. I wonder what the last, when the last time Shearzul entered. It's been at least one year, maybe more. Maybe, oh, pardon me, maybe more. Oh, you have to remake the room, okay. Alright, we're in there. Can you enter Share Zool? Please try again. I know, dude. I know. They can't tie the shoes, Mike. Has it been two years for Cher Zool? You want me to make the lobby, Mike? You know what? This wouldn't be happening if Cher Zool was using a hitbox that you can get at hitboxacade.com slash the gauntlet. 
Take control of your gaming future. Get a hitbox cost of Smashbox. Or get a Yosuke, because he's here. Shirazul, the return versus FG3. Get ready. Get ready. When was the last time Shirazul entered? Uh, I wish I knew. Is he still Team MM? Okay, we got this. Uh, Yosuke? I have to fight the winner of this. Merkava Teddy, absolutely wild team. Absolutely wild team. Let's see how it goes. Alright, swooping our worries away. Alright, we had a mash. We got an overhead. We got to confirm. Where did Yosuke's health go? You got those? No. Bet it all on the DP, Shiraz Shirazul. Welcome back to the big eight. Show up on time to get cooked. That enough? No, not quite. Went for the 5C, I respect it. Okay. Good blocks. Oh, that assist is nasty, though. All right, we got a healthy uh, Nato in. Now we scheme. Now we scheme. Oh, we're whiffing DPs like crazy. Teddy content with the zoning, though. Cross combo activated. Bombs away. Yosuke healed up nicely there, though. Oh, the barrel went the wrong way. Bad bounce. Ooh, beautiful fadeaway jumper from FG3 there. Gonna put in some work with the Teddy. Share Zul on the ropes a little bit here. That jumps anvil into Merkava assist seems pretty decent. All right, gotta get Teddy off the screen though. Yeah, Shirazul smells blood. Good fake into the throw, into dead character, goes to super immediately to ensure the burst's not available. Merkava can get it done. Mm, this isn't death, but this sucks. MM is disbanded. Maybe Shirazul's bringing them back. Said, hey, get the gang back together, guys. Shirazul's really running this back. Yeah, super, super. Merkava is dead. That's a dead... What animal would... I was going to say a dead fish, but I don't know. Is fish the right description of animal for Merkava? I don't know if he's a fish. I wouldn't say like a, like a chimpanzee or something. Because he looks like a water creature. Like those really deep sea squid almost. Oh, we're popping off. Nice and showery mane. Okay, bet. Bet. Shirazul up 1-0. Had to get it out of the mud. Oh, yeah. The deep, deep, deep sea creatures is wild, dude. Absolutely wild. Okay. We got this. Uh, Yosuke? Somebody stop this thing! Yosuke! Neither human nor beast and all its creature. Look who's talking. What's your deal? Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Approved. Alright, we're off to a great start last time. Oh, misses the punish. Which is rare, just given the range that Merkava possesses. But nonetheless, now the Yosuke's going. Yosuke never really got to do much. It was all Nato that kind of did the heavy carry for Shirazul, which is odd because... Known for his epic Yosuke play. There we go. We got it this time around. Have to hold forward just a micro walk in order for that to work and connect. Not the easiest combo to do. Brave DP. Uh, Pat, you got it. It's a great time on a Tuesday night. Okay, FG3 in control here. If you're in the Discord, uh, join... <coughs> Oh, God. No, I said, if you're not in the score, join. If you are, sign up. 8 p.m. every Tuesday, Eastern Time. We're rocking and rolling with the Big 8. Hosted by myself and Ross and Arcade. Sponsored by Hitbox. It's always a stack bracket. We got lots of good players at all times. Kill that character. Yes, whoop that trick. Yeah, it's, uh, I was drinking uh, bubbly and it's... I didn't do it right. 
Oh man, all these opportunities. Great avoidance of the barrels of Yosuke. Oh, I hate this idiot character so much. All right, there we go. FG3 tying it up. One apiece. Good effort. Sherzul, very, very, very accomplished. Big, big 8 uh, competitor from years past. Been a long time since we've seen him. Definitely seems shaking off the ring rust a bit, but uh, that's not to take away from uh, FG3's performance, right? We're seeing them getting better and better and better week in and week out, which is a beautiful thing to see. And that's one thing, right? Like, you might join, you might get washed, but... You get better after that. Get ready, ready. You get washed a little bit less each time, and then you start getting good wins. All right, game number three here. Nothing solved after two games. All right, let's show a bit of our strength, partner. Yeah, let's go. After no three, you gotta work on the color scheme, though. This is atrocious. Like, how do you have this? It's like, you're, it's like, you're wearing an outfit that consists of, like, LL Bean and Hot Topic. It doesn't work. You need to pick a lane. Like, the LL Bean Merkava is sick, but you need an LL Bean Teddy. You can't have a Hot Topic Teddy with, teddy with an LL Bean fucking Merkava. It doesn't work like that. All right, we went to Smooth Brain Narakami. I think this is the main team. Psycho Crusher! Oh, no pickup. Doesn't matter, though. Batter up. Burst is there. Teddy really going through these items. He got the bombs on deck now. So now it's just a matter of... Kill him, yep. Yosuke down, smooth brain Narakami, all by his lonesome. Why do we tag? Why do we tag him in the die? Now we got a fair fight. We don't like fair fights. Okay, rodeo time. Narakami putting in work. A little bit of connection there. Bebe, kick the router. Damn, and just like that, Shears will turn their fortunes around with the swiftness. I think the old players got new teams. I mean, you never know. There we go. We'll get some good damage here. This is not going to be a kill. Oh, we went for the hard shit. Oh, good snipe. Shears Zul taking a lead 2-1 to one here. Good set between these two players, though. All right, now I don't know if we're going to see a team switch from FG3 or not. We'll see. We'll see. I think this is the right team. It's putting in work. It's definitely giving Sherzul looks that he's not used to. Very unique composition. And you see the, the flashes of brilliance here and there with the team. We went Teddy Tank. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Let's see if it pays off. It's do or die. You gotta win your next two matches with the tank if you want to move on winner side of this stack bracket here. 20 of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Heroes even. Here to play some BB Tag. Why are you hating, Lucky? Why are you hating on the tank? Teddy Tank does work. If you can make it work. Yeah, big DP punish here. This is the start we were looking for. Teddy pressure is excellent too. Good, good strings. Oh, 
Oh, but once that Yosuke gets loose, it's a problem. Get him, Bomb. Oh, no, he would. He see him. He still got hit. Still got hit. But he dropped the combo just so he could avoid it. So it was good presence of mind there. But nonetheless, Yosuke does Yosuke things. <laughs> like, Yosuke is definitely the type of person that would stick a fork in a light socket. Absolutely. Yep. Got the snipes on deck. One more of those and Yosuke's dead. Good challenge with the air-to-air. -air. Armor, we don't care. But we had to kill, but we didn't get a combo. Armor, don't care. Yes. Keep it easy. That's a lot of damage on Smooth Brain Narakami, too. Yep, zone him. Alright, the low. Let's go, Tank. Let's go, Tank. Tank don't care about your shitty DP, bro. 6-6 six, six gets it done. FG3 breaking out the Blitz tank and putting dubs on the board. Two apiece. Going to game number five here. This is only the second set of the night here at the Big 8, folks. God damn. That makes three tanks in the bracket tonight. Actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to play tank at some point, but I'll... If Shirzul wins and plays a tank, I'll do the tank mirror for sure. But I wanted to try out something a little different. You know, dip, you got to dip your toe in the water sometimes, right? Trying new things. Get ready. Show him a bit of our strength, partner. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this thing. Oh, we got the dip set. We got the colors on point now. Let's go. All right, Nurikami finds a hit on Teddy and got him in the corner too. Not ideal. Not blocking. Doing something other than blocking. Text four gets picked up by the assist. Was hoping for like a side switch there. Didn't happen. Burst is there. Tank is in. There we go. Corner combos. Yes. Okay, we try to get too saucy, but they do that early in the combo, sir. Good defense. Happy birthday. Keep that shit real simple. Yep. Super, super. Oh, do you get more? Oh, that's ridiculous. See, I told you Teddy Tank works. And a cash out. And that's a dead smooth berry Nurikami. And you got the healthy tank in. Elite. Elite. This ain't nothing. Oh, I have to be careful with the parries, though. They're looking for those. Those sneaky... Those sneaky Yosuke's are looking for those parries. Oh, I don't think he expected that hit. I didn't either. That was a weird interaction. No way! No friggin' way! That was sick! I'm so impressed with their FG3's tank. That was wild. You're getting a little too liberal to parry, though. You're gonna lose your tank for it. What do we do? Just pop that resonance before you die on next touch. Oh no, we whiff DP. Damn, FG3 gets it done over a BB tank veteran and Sheer Zul. Great set, guys. Fantastic stuff. Tip of the hat. Very good. Very good. That's exciting. Damn. That stray tank confirm off the random object of Teddy was wild. Wild. I, I saw the tank do some cool shit, dude. I gotta be a little bit biased. Just a little bit. Alright, uh, coming up next, I do believe it's gonna be me versus FG3. FG3! Are we doing the tank mirrors? We doing this? Me and you? Tank mirrors? You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm locking in just in case. Just in case there's tank mirrors. This is also going to be some very unbiased commentary. Especially when I'm playing. I like to give my opponent like lots of credit. And, uh, props.
Good luck to you. What are these colors? I need to do better. Why didn't I pick the purple friggin' thing? Okay. No. What an air to air. Tank back in. Oh, I mashed DP like an idiot. No way we got these. No way we got these. Oh no. I shouldn't even switch there. I was looking at the wrong health. I thought my tank was dying. FG3 is kind of cooking me right now. Oh, you got caught lacking. No! I'm bursting that shit. Defend. Oh, you got a mix too? Oh, that wouldn't work so poorly for you. Oh, it didn't block. Okay. Game one of the good guys. I gotta fix these colors though. These colors are insane. My colors suck. I'm complaining about other people's colors. I need to hold myself to that same standard. For sure. For sure. We gotta get the drip on point. Alright. What's a good tank color? I, um, I can't steal purple. Pink camel? Swag. Okay. A little crazy. What's some crazy cup? There we go. Team pay to win. Let's freaking go. Get ready. Get ready. They don't match either. Fuck. Great cross up. I tried to grab. Foolish. Foolish. Oh, bad parry. Bad parry. Very bad parry. He's gonna eat it all the damage. Still hit me, though. Yeah. Yeah. I got the damage, but... It missed. Alright. Oh, no, no. Alright, tank. Oh, no, the barrel's the DP punish. Shit. Shit. Can he, oh no, he got more! That was dope! That was so dope. Someone please clip that. That was super sick. That was so sick. On a match super? Okay. Oh, 
I dove right into that one. Pause. Oh, can he kill? No, no, no. Teddy don't get damage like that. No way. Oh my god, that killed him. That's crazy. Alright, two to one. Oh yeah, Resident's Tank is such a good comeback character. Especially if you get a birthday, like he just melts ya. Like I'm getting out class, for sure. That wasn't supposed to kill, but it did. That's how it goes. All right, thinking about it. Maybe at the character select screen, thinking about it, pont pontificating. We switching it up? Oh, I went to Merkava, okay. I should do that. Great punish too. Oh yes, we got those. Okay. All right, we'll just get the tank in for now. Get some health back on Hilda. Oh, I didn't want the five C. Oh no. Oh, we got item combos. Damn. This super doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Bad parry. Oh, no super. Oh, no bar. Yeah, good punish. Good punish. I whiffed the B. I shouldn't have. Fuck it! Oh no, the parry only hit Merkava. It didn't hit Teddy. Fuck, my tank's dead. Yeah, the Teddy combos have been absolutely wild from FG3. They've obviously been putting in the work. Oh, good presence of mine to go to Bear Screw 2. I left. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, good shit, good shit. Good shit. Alright, 2 to 1, 2 to 1. This is a uh, second round winner side. Big 8 222, hosted by myself and Ralston Arcade. Alright, I'm gonna play some bullshit here. I'm gonna play some bullshit. Nah, my Hilda Yumi sucks. I was messing around with this though, and it's been pretty fun. Let's see if we make it work though. I never had really any success playing this in tournaments. Oh, you get the extension off that? That's sick. I shouldn't do that. That's foolish. Good burst punish too. Smart. Whatever, get the damage. Get the damage. There's 
Oh, we're gonna spend it on this one for sure. Big whip! Ah! I was hoping he was gonna try to punish that. No way! No way! I switched and still died! I'm lost in the sauce. Okay. Power up. Good grab. Fuck. Oh, great DP. Oh, I'm not ready for the throw. I'm dead. That's fucking crazy. All right, two apiece. Okay, I can't play this team. I'm not good enough with this team. Um, yeah, freak. It might look like it. All right, damn FG3, push me to the brink. Um, fuck. I do kind of want to play it again. I did some stupid shit there that got me killed. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's go. That got me, damn. I do it back, sir. Oh, not enough to kill? Full DP. Okay. No! Overhead's good. All right. Woo! Good shit. Good shit, FG3. Holy frig. Oh, this has been my... This is probably my best second team, for sure. For sure. But man, FG3 leveled up big time. I was shook, for sure. Good shit. Very good stuff, FG3. And that was only winter side, so... Hopefully we see some more of FG3, because they're playing really well. Alright, who do we got next here? Ooh, okay. Cataclysm versus Mobius coming up next. Now... Oh yeah, that's you, FG3, that's you, Adachi Gaming. Like, you're playing super well. Even from your first set and stuff, you're paying, playing really, really, really good. Really good. 
I knew you were going to be a problem when I saw you win that. Oh, Mobius ain't going to play the tank. That's smart if he doesn't, though, because few people have tank experience like Cataclysm does. I'll tell you, Mobius, Cataclysm got a lot of tank experience. Now, you played the tank very differently than I do, but with that being said, it's not going to be so much of a knowledge check this time around. We'll see, though. Mobius, very good player. Uh, got top 8 last night, I do believe, at or uh, at the Real Fire Legion. I saw him on one of the flyers there. I think it was Real Fire Legion. He got top 8, so that's good shit. No, I, I'm I'm Adachi Gaming truly impressed on how how your how your progression is. Very, very impressed. You're doing great. Be proud of how well you're doing. Poaching. Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, folks, to the Big Eight. 222, hosted by myself and Ralston Arcade. Ralston Arcade, impatiently waiting for Mobius. Mobius on uh, Mobius time. There we go. Get ready, All right, ready. we'll see how this goes. All right, give me two seconds. I got to step away. I'll be right back. Oh no! Cataclysm, please! Oh, Seth's dead. Just barely, though. Alright, game one. I think that's game one, right? That was game one? Yeah, Cataclysm Seth got better quickly. Like, when he first picked him up for the first, like, probably few months, it was... I don't want to say stagnant, but definitely definitely a learning curve and, and shifting things around. But now, if he hits you, he got those loops on lock. That's 1-0, right? Brave Perry. You can bait that a lot, though. He stole the double laser from me. I taught him the double laser. That's my move. Alright, good scoop. Ah, a little too far away, though. Alright, birthday here. Oh, no, we just mash out of the mix, though. 
We mash out of the mix. All right, that is a dead Seth. I'll have to block a. Resonance popped early. That's called we call this too, so that's both characters. Those are the super tank not dead, because that's big body health. Alright, see? No, we went for this mix. Alright, bad assist call. Oh wow! Batista's beam beats it. And got resonance. It's problematic. Yes, wait for the jump. Full guile mode. Mobius stop 2 0. What's up, Coggins? Thanks for coming through. Oh, she's very much Guile. She doesn't have any charge moves in this game, does she? I'm assuming she doesn't, because I don't think there's any charge characters. Maybe I'm bugging. Oh, we got an Astral? I missed it if we did. Someone could, uh, update me. Not here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm bugging, I'm bugging. I asked a question, then I asked another question, then he answered the first question. That's what I was thinking. I uh, wasn't ready for the unblockable full screen. Seth just hurting right now. Great call out on the 5C from the tank. There we go. Like, I feel Blake can fight both these characters pretty well. Same with Seth, just given her speed and range and stuff like that. Mobius definitely uh, giving Cataclysm different looks here, though. The tech on the grab. Oh, big missed opportunity there for Cataclysm. That would have been a kill sequence. Oh, it is anyways. Snipe. Okay, that's going to hurt a lot. Not dead, though. What are we waiting for? All right, Seth versus Tank in the 1v1. Got clipped. 6-6 six, six in the super. That's going to be a ton of damage on Seth. Got to pop Resonance immediately here. Immediately. Yeah, we can confirm that all day. And that is 3-zip. Mobius Raven. Thanks for coming through, Rama. Hope things are going well for you. Yes! We got copy past as a Goku. Alright, so coming up next, me versus Raven. Big not a pass cataclysm, please. Or right, hold up. It's not me versus Raven, that's wrong. It's not me versus Raven. It's me versus Claws. Yeah, yeah, me versus Claws. Just the match lineup said Raven. But. It's Claws. No cursed tank mirrors. We did have tank mirrors earlier. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try Chie again. Let's go, Claws. I might have to play my main team. Claws is very good. Even then, Claws smokes me when they're playing consistently. Claws smokes me. I'm not doing that. I never played Teddy in my life. You play what you want, I play what I want. And uh, hopefully I win. That's how that's going. Hilda, you failed me! You doing that showing off shit? Oh, good. Smart stuff. First punish, yeah, too predictable. No assists. Okay. Oh, he's doing the good Susan though stuff too. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's go, Shie. Oh no! Big whiff. Oh, you can't punish it? Really? Oh, you only level two residents. Okay, uh, pop up, baby girl. He got so much meter. Am I dead? No. Now I am. I'm dead as fuck now. That was crazy. All right, game one, claws. Um. Yeah, I have to play my main team. I figured I was doing half good with Chie there too, but no. Need a main squeeze here. We gotta be sweaty. This is a good top eight winners. We gotta be sweaty. This is probably Claus' second best team. I do the colors better again. I'm sorry. Can't be this. Yes. Let me get my good Hilda color. Where is it? I don't got it unlocked because I friggin' switched back to PS4. Frig off. Alright, whatever. Whatever. You have a distinct advantage now. It's okay. Get ready, ready. I gotta go to the store and unlock all the colors again. I gave my son the PS5 so he can play college football 25, so I'm back to PS4 land, but I had to reinstall the game fresh. That was crazy that that worked. Oh, good bait, good bait. Fuck, man, I'm so pissed. You just take it, you take it, you take it. Claws up 2-0. I'm too mad. Alright, um... One more time, one more time. Yeah, Claws, when Claws is up to practice and stuff, he's very good. He's very good. I block low. I block low. That's so horseshit. I text. I tech too. I also hit the tech button. Yes, I'm glad you dropped that. That was God figuring it out. Oh, big whiff. I deserve loose. I deserve loose. Oh, Hilda's dead as fuck. I'd rather solo tank. I'll fight it out with solo tank. Solo Hilda sucks, though. Fuck, I thought I'd win this. Not the case. No, he's doing good shit, too. Desperate move calls for desperate measures. Gonna wake up Terry. I didn't get the parry. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, take it. Good shit. Good shit. What's the next match, Mike? How many assholes are there total? <clears throat> I 
I think I'm gonna invest in a new controller too. I wanna go back. I'm gonna get that Vitrix one again. The DS4 pad, it's, I'm not used to it anymore. I hated the DS5 when I switched over, but going back now, it's just weird. King of Ninjas versus Crow? Okay. Alright, so coming up next, King of Ninjas versus Crow. That's a hot fight. King of Ninjas. King of friggin' Zeros, too. No bars, King. Where's your bars? Where is your bars, King of Ninjas? The King of Zeros is right. Damn, there we go. We got to... We got a breadstick on there, at least. Claus is so smart, too. He knew not to talk, because I'd shoot him instantly. And he didn't say a word. Oh, yeah, he did. Hold on. How dare you? How dare you? I was giving you credit, and you do this to me? Fuck you, Claus. I can't believe you pulled this type of stunt. I can't believe you pulled this shit. After I was so gracious. So gracious. And then you went and talked? Get ready! What the hell? He did though. He did. I saw it. He said, uh, you got this, King. And I didn't like it. I didn't like that. Now, what's this stupid ass username again? Um. What is it? Someone posted his username, fan of yours. That's what it is. That's what it is. Alright. There we go. Hope you learned your lesson. For betraying me. Alright, now I got We got it straightened out. We got it straightened out. I'm still mad at you too, friggin' Claus, for making me forget your name like that and have to search through the friggin' chat to um, um, time out you. What the hell? Oh my god, you learn nothing. You learn nothing! Alright, the king going kinda savage here. Oh, hold on. You know what it is. You know what it is. Here we go. Here we go. Apologize! And that's a Yumi Astro. Damn! There you go. There's your titty screensaver. What's the death toll at? I think something happened off. I feel like we're at three. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cataclysm. I feel like we're at three. Alright, game one goes to the king. I forget what character got astral there. A rock, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, Akatsuki's just Ragna again. 
And crow putting in work. The Adachi's where you uh, clip the wings of the crow. Alright, we're scheming. Yeah, that Odyssey Jones shit was crazy. Monday Night Raw was like Raw after Mania, and I think they were doing that on purpose because they're building SummerSlam up to be huge. Like, next SummerSlam is going to be two nights, so like they're making that like WrestleMania 2.0. But well, yeah, that Monday Night Raw went crazy. Odyssey Jones picked up. Okay, do you know who uh, Authors of Pain are? From the Final Testament, Authors of Pain in WWE. There are two, a tag team, and they're 300 pounds each. 300 pounds each. Odyssey Jones picked up both of them at the same time, one in each arm, and slammed them. Yeah, Finn is so sneaky. But you know what? That was a great revamp on the Judgment Day. And that was a great super for Detective Crow to tie up the score one apiece. You missed the national finish on Crow, but Crow answers back with the swiftness. Fine in the first hit. You got me ranting about wrestling, uh, Luke Perry, and I didn't even thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Luke. I appreciate your generosity for two billion months. 68 months. That's older than half the people in this chat. That's crazy. Thank you so much, Luke. God love you. Is that a call out? No, defended. Do we get a punish? No, we missed. King kind of having trouble here until that happened. All right, trying to bait a burst, but nobody home. Puts in Yumi to die. To die. And die she did. I mean, the Judgment Day definitely needed a refresh, uh, Valor. So it makes logical sense. And, like, that was one of the hottest storylines going into SummerSlam. Like, the Rhea, Liv Morgan, and the uh, Punk Drew. That was the two, those were the two best storylines going into SummerSlam. And then... You had the return of the tribal chief on top of it. Oh my god, like oof. WWE is so good right now. This is the best era of WWE. Everybody looks back to the Attitude Era saying it's the best. No. Th this Triple H era is the best era of WWE. Easily. Easily. Throw up two to one. Oh yeah, he already beat the Attitude Era. For sure. For sure. Alright, King gotta get serious here. He's looking down the face of a barrel right now. Two to one. Detective Crow going absolutely bananas right now. Get ready. King gotta ask for the Adachi is what he gotta do. I mean, Crow won his first Big A title not too long ago. Crow has been dialed as of late, so... I wouldn't call this an upset to any regard. Both players extremely good, so it's just minor mistake here or there, and you get caught lacking. That heal was crazy. Alright, finds the feet. Woo, okay, we're doing the good Yukiko combos. Okay, sick. Burst is there, but the punish is there as well. All that sauce just to just drop a combo and get fat punish. Great damage on the unhealthy character. Oh, tick grab is there. Had to burst. Gonna eat a punish for it though. It's gonna be a lot of damage on the Adachi here. Went to raise the roof, but nobody home. Tried to punish, but the assist call keeps him safe. Finds a hit. That should be a dead Adachi. Yeah, goes to super quickly to avoid the burst on... Uh, King's side, Yukiko only level one. Residence there. Alright, got some health back with that. Needs to find a meaningful hit. We got a snipe super on deck too. Ooh, the switcheroo is good. 
we might be able to kill. Might be enough. She's weak. It is. Damn, the King of Ninjas getting sent to the loser side of the bracket. Detective Crow moving on. So, uh, Crow with Winner's Finals here. So, I don't know. Are we doing a mic or are we going to do my match first? Oh, no. We're doing Claws versus Young Bab. Okay, we're just keeping it moving. Is going to let me bottleneck. Okay, bet. Thank you all for tuning in to the Big Eight, hosted by myself and Ross and Arcade. Uh, brought to you by Hitbox. Please give the channel a follow if you're new here. We're here every Tuesday night, rocking and rolling with BB Tag. It's really time. It is time, young Bab. You gotta fight Claws right now. Shout us to Costco. That's right, Luke Perry. Shout us to Costco. Getting your bulk goods. Did you ever get the new donuts? The new round filled donuts? They're crazy. Those are filled with heroin, I think. My family loves them. They cannibalize like a flat in like a day. It's it's nuts. Get ready. Get also, ready. like you can't eat gluten and shit. So you're you're just like eating jail food for the rest of your life. That sucks, dude. Can't you take like a like a needle and just eat what you want? Yeah, bees, drop out of school. Play BB Tag. It's a very, very promising career. Sky just shooting press for no reason. Thanks for coming through, Sky. What up? Evo Champion Sky. Oh, the 5C is good. The 5C is Gucci. Great presence of mind from Bab to swat away the persona. That is a uh, great matchup knowledge. I never think to do that in the heat of battle because you can swat away the personas, but you have to know when, otherwise you're gonna get fucked up. But nonetheless, Bab knows what's up. Bab knows what's going on. Claus was off to a great start, but Teddy uh, probably gonna die from this combo. Koski supers hurt like hell. Artemis, thank you very much for the raid. Fellow Canadian. People come and go. We would, That's with everything we run here, right? To expect someone to stick with something for like eight years is crazy. Like they're like a lot of people even from like the early days ain't around no more. And we have people with crazy epic runs and they, and they would go and people come back and go and stuff like that, move on to other games. There you go. That was a dominant round for Young Bab. Good shit. You heard what I said. <clears throat> oh yeah, people move on. And like with this game too, where people started playing this and they were pretty young. Like, they went from like being like teenagers to young adults in the time frame that they, this game has been out. But we always, like, BB Tag's still good for generating kind of new players and, like, people that, like, never used to enter tournaments, start enter tournaments and stuff like that. So it bounces its stuff out. Like, we've been consistent with numbers for years now. Yeah, but you jump back, too. Like, you kind of play both. Like, I don't see you abandoning BB Tag. I mean, maybe you will. I don't know. But, like... I don't know. I, I, think, you, I think you really love the game too much. Yeah, you'd still play both. And the thing with me is there's just like, well, if I had more time, I'd probably play more games and do more events for different games and shit. But like, even with most of the modern fighters, there's none that I'd rather play over MVCI and BB Tag. And like, I like some of the modern fighters and stuff. Like I like Strive, I like Street Fighter 6. But like, would I choose to play them over either of the two games we have here? No, I would not. Oh, no. 
Oh, great punish on the burst there. Never mind, it was actually a shitty punish. Shit punish. Like, I love Marvel 3 too, but like... It's just, there's, there's so much shit, like... Especially to feel like you're competitive and good and stuff like that. I don't have that time, dude. Alright, what's this check saying? Let's see this check. Yeah, so it's a graph that's like constantly going up. Uh oh, it's taking a bend here. It's plateauing. Fuck, it's plateauing. Shit! Shit! Oh, big one for the DP, but no, not in a position to punish. Oh, there you go. Tried to swat away the Persona too many times. Can we kill? Yes, we can with the 5C. Good stuff. Bing bang. If I played Marvel 3, I'd only play Marvel 3. I wouldn't play any other game. Just to be the best I could possibly be at that game. Otherwise, you're just getting shit on bad. Bad. Okay, Claus ties it up. That's 1-1, one, one, right, Claus? 1-1? One, one? I feel like it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, man, but that shit's hard. Like... That's a young man's game. I can't do it. Like, I feel my reactions are so slow now. Like, this game, it's not too bad just because it's so chaotic and scrambly anyways. But, um... Like, Marvel 3 has, like, the oppression's much worse. At least, like, you have tools to get out of shit. And with Marvel Infinite, Lockdown Super is Lockdown Super. You're, you're getting hit no matter what, for the most part. Alright, Claus Teddy kind of getting washed here. Damn. Mike getting depressed out of jail. Let's go. Alright, this is not looking great for Claus. Claus is getting mauled right now. Alright, this is not death, but uh, stops her from gaining life. And that residence time is done. We woke up and hit buttons immediately. All right, I like to grab attempt. Wow, that DP is active forever. I mean, what does she do here? She needs so many clean hits. She's gonna get zero. Young Bab up two to one. Never mind, flubs it. But I mean, this is. There's no way she recovers from this, right? No, she doesn't. All right. Young Bab up two to one here. Plus, fight until the end, though. Uh, Magneto flexing the level 3 is the shit. The flex in the level 3 is where it's at. Tagger Yumi, what are we doing here, Claus? Alright, nice throw set up there.
All right, the dunks are good. Can we pick up? Yes, we can. Uh, I went to switch to burst punish. Wow, that works. Oh, uh, we tried to do the slick shit. That was a terrible tag. Yumi gonna get lit up in the corner. All the damage on Yumi. I would say Tagger's Claw is better character out of the two. Oh, that wasn't it. We got meters. Can we kill the big body, though? Uh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, it will do it. I think. Yep. They did good eye. 12.4k. But Yumi hits buttons immediately. Pop resonance? No, backdash into grab. Try to swat away the assist. I like the attempt, but not looking good for a hero. Uh, good tag there. Got the health uh, Katsuki in. And we're just gonna pot shot. Oh no, they need all the assists. The backdash is there. Resonance all but done. Finds the feet. And Claws finds defeat. Young Bab taking a 3-1. to one. Young Bab in winner's finals here tonight. Big A222. Holy shit. Let's go. And with that, we're going to kick it over to the Death of Staticlism for a top A preview. Let's go.